hello team and welcome back to the channel so before starting the video i would request you please subscribe to the channel it helps a lot for the channel to grow okay also as you know i keep creating new uh, hands-on courses for you on youtube for free okay yeah also i would like to say thanks to those people who are studying with me because after 30 or 40 days we'll be having a new python for devops technology added in your resume okay for those who has who have not yet started i would request you start as soon as possible so that as we finish you also finish with the python for devops okay and you will be ready to add it in your resume okay coming back so make sure that you are just uh, fogged it or like you are keeping a track of this repository because whatever documentation whatever scripts that we use in our tutorials we are going to uh, like keep it here as you can see there are as of now there are like uh, three uh, uh, three documents day zero day one and day two so today we'll be updating the day three okay so today is basically the file handling in python how we can handle uh, like te uh, textual files or like other kind of files and how we can work with different directories okay that i am going to show you okay so before starting with that i would request you check out this devopshack.com this is my website where i create paid courses for those who want a uh, dedicated sessions and be prepared for interviews okay this session goes for like two months uh, dedicated sessions like you can connect to me anytime you want for issues or anything okay and here we cover complete devsecops from scratch plus azure devops okay in addition to that we will be covering iac infrastructure as code and the best part of this course is that for those who are transitioning to devops from other domain you definitely are going to need uh, you are going to need uh, uh, this corporate based projects okay because in interviews they ask corporate based projects uh, okay so in this courses basically i'll be explaining you four to five different corporate based project which with complete architecture as well as how they were deployed okay and what was the role of a devops engineer uh, uh, like me uh, how what i did and so on so okay and i believe that will help you a lot if you are going to transition okay the cost is very minimal as compared to the syllabus that we cover everything we are going to cover including different security aspect different security tools so on okay so if so if you are interested you can check it out okay yeah coming back so let's start with uh, working with uh, python okay so what i have done as of now i have just created a separate folder python okay on my system and now what i am going to do is create a text file okay text file name will be aditya.txt okay so basically what we are going to study today is how we handle files as well as directories in python okay so what i have done you can see i have created one text file with name aditya.txt let's uh, add some content uh, my name is aditya okay let me add something more i am a devops engineer okay yeah let me save this file okay now what i'm going to do is explain you how using python commands we can like uh, modify this file or like read contents from this file okay because first section we are going to work with uh files okay so first uh, let me create a uh, uh, python file okay uh, let me give it a name as day-3.py okay and we are going to write our source code inside this and as you can see from here uh, inside python folder we have both the files aditya.txt and day3 okay so first thing like before you start working with any file in python basically what you need to do is make the file ready for handle handling okay for example let's say my first task is that i want to read the file okay so i need to make sure that the file is ready for reading right so how do we do that first what i will do i will create a variable named file okay then what i'm going to do is use a, a function open and circle bracket and here i'm going to provide the name of the file what is the name of the file it's aditya.txt right then here in uh, again single quotes we will define ki what exactly we are going to do so as i told first fun first thing that we want to do is read the contents of the file okay so we will write in this format okay and yeah so now basically what it, this this uh, command means means ki the file is ready for reading okay the file is opened and it is ready for reading okay now for example let me save the file and if i open the terminal so if i execute the command for example you know like python command python files we can execute in this format python then yeah right so let me execute it it got executed and you see there is no output you know why because the file has been opened but we are not we have we are not literally reading it that means 
कि दिस कमांड दिस दिस ओपन कमांड इट इट मीन्स कि वी हैव मेड द फाइल रेडी फॉर रीडिंग ओके दैट इज वॉट वी आर डूइंग ओके इन केस यू आर थिंकिंग कि ओके इफ फाइल इज रेडी हाउ डू वी कन्फर्म दैट दिस कमांड हैज रन सो वॉट वी कैन डू वी कैन जस्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट दिस कमांड हैज रन वी कैन एड अनदर कमांड प्रिंट लेट से वी कैन राइट डबल कोर्ट्स हेलो ओके and if i save this run the file again okay sorry uh, spelling is wrong my <laughs> mistake okay you can see it printed hello how did how did the python got to know ki okay there is another command because first it executed this command then it went to second command okay okay so from this command you understand ki this is used for uh, making the file ready for reading right now how do we read the file okay so for that i will create another variable content okay equal to uh, we can write file we are basically using the variable that we created before named file okay file dot read okay file dot read okay now the 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 uh, value of this 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 thing we are storing it inside content variable okay now what we can do we can print this con content variable in the format in this way uh, print content okay so this is very simple example now again if i execute the command python day 3 you can see it printed the content because uh, first let, let me explain again what exactly we did okay first we created a one variable okay inside this variable what we are doing basically basically we are uh, like running using the open function okay and using this what we are doing making the file ready for reading okay so once the file is ready for reading what we are doing we are uh, like reading the uh, content of the file okay complete thing using this command this uh, this this function read function it will read complete contents of the file you can see right okay and that's what it did it read the content file uh, complete uh, contents of the file and we stored that thing inside this variable named content okay and next i just printed the content and here we can see the contents of the file okay that is first thing okay let's say i want to write inside the file how do we do that so for that again what i will do okay one more thing that you should know like since like we ran this command open that means ki file is open for a specific task okay file is open for reading okay so once you open a file make sure that after your task is completed for example here our task was to read the contents of the file okay so once our task is completed what we should do is close the file file dot close okay so once i run this command basically what will happen the file that was opened for reading it will get closed okay let me save and again if i run this okay Yeah, same content came, but from this command you can understand. Okay, now file is closed for reading. Okay, so got the point. Key what exactly is file dot close? We like we when we are opening the file, uh, here we have opened the file for reading purpose, so we closed it. Okay, for example, uh, for now let me just remove this. Yeah. Next, what I want to do is basically show you how we can write inside the file. Okay. So before going to that, uh, two more things I will show you. Let me show you exactly. Okay. For example, here we uh, we used read mod read function, right? What it does, it will read complete contents of the file. For uh, okay, but let's say our requirement is that I want to read just a line. Okay, let's say I want to read just uh, first line. So what we can do, we can create another variable named line. Okay, equal to, and here we will type file dot read line. Okay, okay. what it will do basically it will read the first line okay so next uh, next i want to tell you about re uh, like reading multiple lines okay so for that we have another function which is known as read lines let me show you so let's create another variable equal to uh, name will be lines okay and here we can you we can call the exact file that we have opened for reading file dot uh, read lines difference you can see is is reading a single line is read line multiple lines read lines okay now yeah so okay let me explain you what exactly now happening first we are reading uh, like complete thing okay and second like using this uh, this this function read line we can read one line okay just one line at a time 
and third function which we have a read line so basically in that what happens it will read complete file okay line by line and put uh, push that li uh, uh, those like sing each line inside a list okay and let me show you how this will happen so first let us comment these things okay so first let us uh, run the uh, the reading first let's try to read the complete file okay so we can again run the command and you can see it printed everything right okay next let's say i want to read a single line from the file okay so instead of the printing this uh, whole thing i can try to print single line okay let me save and once we execute this we should be able to see first line right my name is aditya okay let's say uh, now requirement is that i want to uh, get each line inside a list how we can do we can use the third function which is lines let me save this and now if i uh, execute okay now here in the output you can see there are there is a, a, a list and inside the list we have first item is my name is aditya then slash and slash and denotes that the uh, like uh, slash and denotes next line okay so first first item we can see slash and is, is added in the end that means key okay uh, this first item ends at uh, this one okay and then we need to go to next line okay so next line item is uh, is uh, added here okay got it okay so this is how we will like uh, work with uh, reading files okay now once your task is completed of reading what you should run is file dot close file dot close okay basically this means ki uh, our file whatever task we were uh, we we opened the file in the reading mode okay but once our task has completed we have read in whatever way we wanted single line uh, like multiple lines into a list or like complete content so once those tasks have been completed we can simply close the file because keeping the file open is there is no point in that okay so yeah this this won't give any output but you can understand ki make sure to run it after your task is completed okay okay so this is how we read the file now let's talk about how we can write or append into the file okay so let me explain you that first so let's talk about now how we can add something inside the file okay add or like uh, overwrite something okay so our file is already open in read mode so we will just keep it in read mode for now secondly what i want to do is open the file in write mode also okay so that we can write something because if you want to perform these kind of actions you need to make sure that file is open in a specific mode we want to perform reading the contents of the file we need to make sure file is open in read mode if you want to uh, add something inside the file or write something so we need to make sure file is open in write mode write mode we, how we can open in this format instead of r we can use w okay okay next what we can do is write something so let us write as file dot we have write method these are this is these method read method write method read lines and read line these are like pre existing methods okay which can be used very easily and they are like this is the one of the very beneficial thing about python we have lots of methods and packages and libraries okay so what i want to write i want to write uh, i am working in delight okay okay now what will happen let me put slash and that means uh, go to next line after writing this okay now difference between write mode and append mode there are basically two modes for adding content in, into the file write mode and append mode okay write mode what it does it will overwrite the existing content for example okay let me replace this let me write my name is aditya and i work sorry and i am a devops engineer so currently let me save the file uh, through here also save yeah so the file so currently the current content of the file is this okay and if i execute the command file dot run uh, file dot write when the file is open in uh, write mode then what will happen this content i am working in deloitte this will replace complete content pre existing content okay basically using uh, uh, in the, when we add something in write mode it will overwrite the existing content okay now to make sure and since our file is already open in read mode also so we can read how do we read read using the read method and if i print now if i print this content variable so it should be able to give the uh, 
content of the existing file okay as of now you can see uh, this is the content and i have already saved the this this file aditya.txt okay and we are uh, writing we are open we have opened the file in write mode and we are uh, running this command using a write method to add this file add this content okay if i execute the command uh, 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 what will happen some issue it's showing uh, text up any madita dot is so and so okay one second let it be if i come here now you see the content has been changed okay it is changed to uh, i'm working in deloitte okay that means ki this has been pre written like this has been overwritten okay this file overwrite the pre existing content okay now let me do one thing next to me yeah now if i try to uh, run this file it will be able to print what i'm working in deloitte okay so this is what uh, like uh, uh, opening the file in write mode means okay next one more thing is there which i wanted to show you let me just comment this again okay yeah so next mode is that we have is append mode okay let me comment this also okay so as of now currently we have this content inside our file right so in uh, I, in the next mode that we have which is append mode let me show you what exactly happens there we can open the file in append mode in this format name will be aditya dot uh, text append mode we can open using single quotes a okay this means the file is open in append mode okay now if i use this thing if i use this command again if i use the write method what it will do it will add the file in the uh, end okay basically for example let me uh, add something uh, let's say my home is in india okay and if i put here slash n that means it will start from next line okay okay so current content i am working in deloitte uh, new content which we are uh, appending appending means adding at the end okay so in, if i run this command what will happen this new content will be added inside our text file let me show you let me save this file if i execute again and if i go here you can see new line we have added this my home is in india right now just to confirm what we can do we can open the read mode okay and we can uh, print the contents using this you can see the new contents has been printed okay okay one thing that you should definitely remember always is after your task is done like uh, my uh, like uh, file was open read mode write mode so all those kind of task is done make sure that you run this command file dot close so whatever modes we have opened it they will be closed make sure to run that okay it's kind of best practice that you should follow so if i run this yeah now the file or uh, what whatever modes were opened they have been closed okay so this is how we perform file handling in different modes okay three modes you understood right uh, like this read mode write mode and append mode read mode simply we can read the contents of the file write mode we can write inside the file basically we can overwrite it okay whatever content is existing we can uh, whatever like a new command we pass for example my home is in india that will replace the pre-existing content okay in write mode in append mode what it will do it will be added at the end of the content okay and make sure that we run file dot close to close the open files okay okay so got got the point right let me comment everything because what we are going to do basically write whatever command we have here itself and i will share you all these commands so that you can also work with it okay okay next what i wanted to teach you is how to work with directories or folders in python how to manage them how to create them and so and so okay so let's do that so let's talk about how to work with folders or directories in python okay so before we get started with that first thing that we need to do is import a module okay so basically when i say import a module you know like on day one i explained you there are many packages libraries or modules inside python which can be used for performing specific kind of task okay so here we need to perform or interact with different uh, like uh, we want to perform different actions with folders okay in python 
to make sure that we are able to do perform those kind of things we need to import a module so module we need to import which is known as os okay os module is uh, os mo when you use like import the os module it helps you to interact with uh, like operating system okay so once you have imported the os module now first command that i want to run is to create a folder how do we do that we will uh, use os dot mkdir we are using mkdir calling it through os module okay and in uh, this circle brackets will provide the folder name which we want to create for example let's say folder one okay what it will do it will basically create a folder let me show you by running the command if i run this you see on left side there is a folder got created got it okay now let's say that i want to uh, view all the uh, contents of specific folder for example this day 3 file this is inside python folder right and inside python folder we are having one folder and two uh, files okay how do we view the file okay so let me show you that as well for that we have the command uh, os dot list dir okay list dir and here we need to write the path where like who's like where we want to view the contents okay whatever different files or folders exist so for me i want to view all the files or folder that exist in current directory so i will just put a dot the dot means current directory if you want to go inside specific folder you need to provide the whole path okay okay now basically this is going to uh, produce an output right how many for like what folders and files are there so if like if any of your task is going to produce an output you need to keep it inside a variable for example let's say i want to i will keep it inside a variable named a equal to this okay and next what i can do is simply print this print a okay so let me save this and if i execute we should be able to see the results and you can see inside a list it has uh, like put everything okay aditya.txt da3.py and folder that means we are able to understand okay these many files are existing now right so now you what you understand how to create a folder how to list contents of inside a folder right okay let me comment all this next what we can do so next what i wanted to show you is how we can uh, delete a folder okay how to uh, okay instead of uh, deleting a folder let's say uh, let i want to check if a certain folder or file is existing or not okay so for that what we need to do have is we need to have another uh, uh, another module which is known as os.path okay so os.path what it does it basically it can it helps you interact uh, through path okay how do we do that so okay uh, let's say i create a variable uh, 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 let's say create a variable x equal to now what i want to do is check if the file aditya.txt it exists or not okay how we can do so i can write the command os dot path dot exists okay here and name of the file or folder which i want to check aditya.txt okay now uh, basically this since as i told you if some task is going to re return an output or like, uh, some, like that so you need to store it inside the variables okay and now what i will do i will uh, write the uh, content here right, sorry print the variable this format mm. the existence let's write see i'm just trying to write it in properly so that we can it it makes sense okay stance of file aditya.txt is here i will write x okay let me save this file and if i run this uh, you can see the existence of file aditya.txt is true that means it exists instead of that if i just like uh, write a random uh, word okay and search for it to check if it exists or not you can see the result is false that means this file does not exist now okay let's say i want to check for uh, folder so i will just type as folder 1 and let's edit this also just for the namesake okay 
and let us see let's see what happens if it is able to figure out if if, if it works on folders also that we will get to know okay great so it it is able to understand okay for we are searching for folder one which exist okay so now using these two modules we can basically create folders or like we can check if a folder or a file exist or not okay in a certain directory so let us comment next what i wanted to show you is how we can remove a directory okay remove a folder how do we do that so for that what we can do os dot rmdir okay this command will basically remove a specific folder of uh, folder we provide the name okay so here i am going to provide the name as uh, 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 folder one okay and basically it should be able to remove the uh, that remove the folder one okay rmdir do not forget and next what i will do uh, i will print also just to check if it is work if uh, this removal worked or not okay let me clear the screen run the command okay here left side also you can see and from the output also you can see folder one has been removed right okay so to show you more of the things let me do one thing okay here we will create a file named uh, uh, sam and inside sam will be creating uh, files okay let me create one text file let me create another text file okay these two text files we have created which are appearing here also okay now let's say like to remove a directory what we did we we ran the command to uh, rmdir which removed the folder okay but in case let's say ki this command will only remove the may not re able to remove the contents inside the folder okay basically what i am trying to say it may not work recursively okay so how do we make sure that we are able to remove the uh, contents of the folder also okay so let me show you that as well okay so i was talking about like how we can remove the uh, folder recursively right but before that one more thing i want to show you is let's say let me comment this first So what I want to talk about, like I told you how we can remove the folder using os.mkdir, right? But uh, how to remove a file? For file, we have separate command. I forgot to mention os.remove, simple command, okay? And let's say I want to remove aditya.txt. I can write the aditya.txt in quotes, okay? And now let's say I want to print also. Just to confirm if it worked or not, we can execute this command. Save this, and if I execute it now, here you can see automatically it, it got removed, right? Okay. Next, what I was talking about is how we can how we can remove the folder along with its files that contains inside it. Okay. So for that we need to have one module, another module which is known as shootil. Okay, let me show you. As such, this one. Okay. So this module basically using this, what we can do, we can remove the folder along with the contents of the folder. Okay. So for that we can run the command as shootil. So this is the way when you are using a module, you need to uh, like the the functions inside that module. We can call it using the module then dot okay so inside shootil we have rm tree that means key remove tree okay by tree it means key the main folder and whatever files uh, directories or anything that exist inside that folder okay so here i will put uh, the name as sam okay and i want to print this also to see if it worked or not See, this thing you understand very clearly ki if uh, we are running a some some command and that is going to result uh, like uh, return some output for example here we are here we are listing the contents of the directory okay so if it's going to return some output right so we are storing it inside a variable then printing the variable very simple right save this and let's run the command here 
here you see on left side the folder along with its content completely got removed okay so we uh, we have shooting okay now let us summarize what we studied today right so today we studied how to handle files and folders right okay so when you want to work with a file you need to open that file in a specific mode first mode that we have read mode to read the contents of the file three ways we can read the contents one is like read the complete content using file uh, like dot read then we have read one line which is read line then we have like read lines to read complete contents and add each line inside a list okay three things then we have another mode of in in python for opening a file which is write mode okay write mode is a mode in which when uh, we can write something inside the file using dot write function okay so when we are we are like, using the dot write function in the write mode it will overwrite the contents of the file okay so that will be used only if, if you want to remove the pre existing contents and put new contents in the file okay then we have append mode so append mode basically used when you want to add something uh, inside the existing file okay it won't be removing anything it will just add new content that you want inside the file okay okay coming to next which is like uh, working with folders so for that we studied three modules os os.path and shooting okay so in os module and os.path module what we learned how to remove files or folders how to check if a file or folder exist and how to create a new folder right in shootil shootil module we got to understand that using shooty module we can remove a folder recursively that means whatever content existed inside the folder that also gets removed okay so this is what we covered today right if i go back here so this was the uh, day 3 handling files and directories using python right so this is good day 3 is complete now day 4 we are going to study control flow and loops that is one of the most important topic in python okay and see once we complete day 5 then we will be i'll be giving you one exercise where you need to write uh, a python program showcasing whatever you have studied till day 1 to day 5 okay and i'll be sharing you a program also okay so yeah that's all for today and if you are still here then thank you so much for watching uh, sorry uh, uh, thank you so much for watching the video and i hope you learn a lot okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day